Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this video, another video in our series dealing with proposition logic. Uh, and more importantly, in this particular example, we're going to be looking at how to show logical equivalence. Uh, uh, is, another is another video uh, in our series uh, of videos uh, on this particular topic. But for this partic particular example, we're going to concentrate on what's known as the distributive law or the distributive properties uh, associated with our connectives and showing their equivalence. So, I mean, the first thing I would like to show is something like this. Okay, so let's say the first thing we'll have two we'll have two let's say uh, derivations or two two proofs through two tables uh, in this particular example okay so the first thing I'd like to show is that given three propositions p q and also or uh, that p ended with q which is ordered with or okay we would like to show that that's equivalent uh, to the proposition where we have p ended with q Okay, as one, let's say, component, okay, uh, ordered with P anded with or, okay. So, this is a logical equivalence, okay, it's actually known as a distributive law, it's like multiplying out the brackets, if that makes sense, okay, uh, when we look at, when we look at our, our normal real variable algebras, yeah, okay, and the identities uh, uh, associated with that, okay, but in this case, we're, we're using the connectives ands and ors. So, what I'm saying is this, is that if you, if you or a Q, some proposition with another proposition, and then if you and the result with another proposition, that that's equivalent to anding the P with the Q first, then anding the P with the R second, and then oring both of these results, that these two things are equivalent. So we'd like to show that, and then we'd like to show the other version of it, okay? Uh, two, which is that P ORed with Q and with or, okay, is logically equivalent to P or with Q, okay, and with P or with or with or, okay, and in this video we'll show both of them, yeah. So let's just look at the first one, okay. So let's say considering, considering, considering one above, okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to look at the left hand side, we're going to build a true table, and then we're going to build a true table for the right hand side. Okay. So looking at the left hand side, okay, we'll build the true table. Okay. So the true table has, well, in this case here, there's three propositions. There's the P, there's the Q, and there's an OR. So we need to list the three propositions. We have a P, we have a Q, and we have an OR. And we need to list all the possible truth values that these could, these could I suppose, take on simultaneously. Now, the way we're going to do this is like this, is we're going to look at the proposition closest to the bar and we're going to go alternating false, true, false, true, and we actually continue in this fashion, so let me actually just do this a little bit more here, okay, uh, let's say we have false, true, false, true, and the goal is going to be that we're going to stop when we get a whole line of truth values at the end here, okay. The second proposition's truth values are going to be double the pattern that was previous. So here we had false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true. Now what we're going to have is we're going to have false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true. And the next truth values, okay, are going to be double the previous one. So here we had two falses followed by two truths, two falses followed by two truths. And we're going to double it. So now we're going to have four falses. False, 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 followed by four truths. True, 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 true. Okay, so these are all the possible truth values, yeah? Okay. It's actually sort of like counting in binary if you think about it like that, yeah? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and so on and so forth, okay? But that's what a tree input, uh, when we have three propositions, what the true table actually looks like. And these are all the possible uh, values that you could take on simultaneously. So the left-hand side is P needs to be ended with Q, which needs to be ORed with OR. But we need to do what's inside the brackets first. So we need to do Q ORed with OR. So we need to do Q or with OR, which is simply just an OR evaluation. But the left upper hand is the Q column, and the right upper hand is the OR column. Now we know the way an OR works, an OR only ever gives us false when both of them are simultaneously false. Well, here's where we have two simultaneous false values here, so it's going to be false here. 
Where else have we got two simultaneous false values? We have them here. So it's going to be false here. Anywhere else? And there's nowhere else. So everywhere else must be true. Okay? Everywhere else must be true. Okay. So now we've evaluated what's inside the brackets here. Now we can and it with a p because the p column is already evaluated. So now we can evaluate p to be anded with the column labeled q or with or. Okay? So what we now have is this and has two inputs, has the left hand proposition, which is the p column, and has the right hand proposition, which is the q or with or column. So once again, an and, an and only ever gives us true when both of them are simultaneously true. So for us to get a true value here, the p must be true along with the, the Q order or column must be true. So we're looking for two truth values down these two columns. Well, not there, not there, not there, neither there, not here. There's a true true, okay? So we get a true out here, okay? There's a true true, so we get a true out here. And here's a true true, so we get a true out here. Everywhere else it must be false. So it must be false, 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 followed by a false here. Okay. And this column here is the left-hand side of this expression evaluated. So that's the left-hand side done. Okay. So let's evaluate the right-hand side. Now, I'm not going to build another true table okay, where I list the inputs again. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use these inputs. But what I'll do in this case here is I'll just put a double bar down here okay, just to show that this is the demarcation point between between our between our first our left hand side and now our right hand side that we're going to evaluate going across here okay so let's do the right hand side okay so to do the right hand side before we can do this or we need to have evaluated this left hand operand and also we need to have evaluated this right hand operand so the left hand operand is a p ended with q so let's do that so the p needs to be ended with the q okay so the p ended with q means we take the p column and we end it with the q column that's these two columns here so we and them two columns. Now we know an and only ever gives us true when both of them are simultaneously true. So we're looking for two truth values. Well, not, not there. There's a false, 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 true, false, true, true, false, true, false. There's a true, true. So we get a true out here. And here's a true, true. So we get a true out here. Everywhere else, P and Q must be false. So it's going to be false, 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 false. So we've evaluated the P ended with Q. So now let's evaluate the P ended with OR. So P ended with OR okay, is where we look at the P column and the OR column. So we're going to look at the P and the OR column. And once again, it's an AND. An AND only ever gives us true when both of them are simultaneously true. So let's see, look for true, true. No, that's a false, false. That's a false, true. That's a false, false. That's a false, true. That's a true, false. That's a true true, okay? So we're getting, there's a true true. So on this, the third last line here, we're gonna have a true value. Well, that's a true false, and that's a true true. So there's two truth values. So everywhere else it must be false. So it's gonna be false, 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 false. It's gonna be false, false here. So now that we've evaluated the left-hand operand for this OR, and the right-hand operand, they're listed, these two evaluations are listed in these two columns. Now we can bring both of them together through an OR operation. So we're going to now evaluate P, the P, ended with Q column, and we're going to OR that with the P, ended with OR column, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to OR them, and we know that an OR only ever gives us, only ever gives us false when both of them are simultaneously false. So here's a false false, so we're going to get a false, Here's a false, false, a false, false, a false, false. So they're all going to be falses. Okay? They're all falses. There's a false, false, so that's going to be falses. Here's a false, true. They're not simultaneously false, so we get a true value out. They're not simultaneously false, so we get a true value out. And neither are these, so we get a true value out. Okay? And this particular column here, okay, is the evaluation of the right-hand side of this particular equivalence. Yeah? So this is the right-hand side. And hopefully what we can see is that under all possible inputs when we put a false false into the left hand side we get a false out when we put a false false into the right hand side we get a false out and we can actually see that these values match under all possible inputs these values the output values are exactly the same so what we've actually shown here through the use of true tables is this first expression actually is true that the left hand side 
this propositional expression is logically equivalent to this propositional expression over here. Okay. Uh, let's take the next proposition here, yeah, the next version of the distributive law, and let's let's try that. Okay. So what we have is what we'd like to show is we'd like to show we'd like to show show that show that p or with q and with or is logically equivalent to p or with q and with p or with or okay and once again we need to build a true table okay there's three inputs we take the left hand side and then we'll deal with the right hand side so the inputs okay, i'll just do a big bar across here the inputs are p q and or so we have a p we have a q and we have an or and like what i said earlier on we'll turn off and on so it's false true false true false true false true then we double the pattern it's false false true true false false true true then we double the previous one so it's going to be false 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 true 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 and let's evaluate the left hand side so the first thing we need to do is what's inside the brackets the q before we can do this or we have to have evaluated this expression here okay uh, so we need to evaluate the q and the or so q needs to be ended with an or okay so let's do that okay so the q column is down here down the middle and the or column is the one closest to the bar okay and and only ever gives us true and both of them are simultaneously true so let's find a true true I, not there no no there's a true true so we got a true here no 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 there is one here so we got a true there everywhere else it must be false okay everywhere else must be false okay now that we've evaluated the right hand side of this or we can now or the left hand side which is the p column which is has been evaluated we can order with the q and with or column so now we're going to actually evaluate what's p ordered with q and with and with or Okay. So an or only ever gives us false when both of them are simultaneously false. So we're looking down these two columns. So there's a false false. So we get a false. There's a false false. So we get a false. There's a false false. So we get a false. They're not simultaneously false here. So we get a true value out. They're not simultaneously false there. So we get a true value. Neither there. So we get a true value. Neither there. So we get a true value. And neither there. So we get a true value. So this column here represents the right hand side of this equivalence. So this is sorry, the left hand side of this equivalence. So this is the left hand side. Okay. Now let's do the right hand side. And once again, I'll just do a double bar there here to demarcate the left hand side from the right hand side. Okay. So let's just do a double bar there. Okay. So the right hand side, before I can do the and, I must have evaluated this thing here, and I also must have evaluated this particular right operand. So let's do the left operand first, which is P ord with Q. Okay? So P ord with Q means the PQ column needs to be ord. Once again, an or only ever gives us false when both of them are simultaneously false. So the P with the Q. False, false gives us false. False, false gives us false. They're not simultaneously false there and neither there, so we must get a true and a true here. Uh, here's a true false so they're not simultaneously false so we must have a true neither here so we must have a true they are neither there they're not false false there either so we must have a true and neither here we must have a true okay let's do the right hand operand that's p ord with or okay so the p ord with or is the p in the or column needs to be or so once again we're looking for it's an or only ever gives us false when both of them are simultaneously false so we're looking for false false down the p in the or column well there's a false false so we get a false here they're not simultaneously false there so we get a true neither they are there so we get a false neither there they're not simultaneously false there so we get a we get a true value they're not simultaneously false there neither there neither there and neither there so these are all true values all the way down here okay now what we have is we have the left and the right hand operand for this and now we can and them together and these two columns so it's the p or with q needs to be anded with the p or with or column okay which means that the and only ever gives us true when both of them are simultaneously true so this needs to be true and this needs to be true so we're looking for true trues to get a true value out not there not there not there there's a true true so we get a true value out here everywhere else above it is false 
Okay. Okay. Uh, they are simultaneously true here, so we get a true. Same there, we get a true. Same here, we get a true. Same here, we get a true. So actually, this here represents the evaluation of the right-hand side. So this is the right-hand side. And once again, let's have a look at their equivalence. So when they're all possible inputs, all of the possible inputs, okay, we get the same outputs. So here's the left-hand side sets of outputs. There you go. They're similar there. They're similar here. They are the same there. Same there. Same here. Same here. Same here. And the same here. So actually what we've shown through two tables is that the left hand side is equivalent to the right hand side. And this is the second version of what's known as our distributive property or our distributive law. Uh, okay guys, uh, I know that was quite long this video, okay, uh, but I think it was a nice example uh, to uh, in relation to our understanding of how to prove logical equivalence, the logical equivalence of two propositions. Okay, uh, So once again guys, uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope this video uh, was somewhat intuitive and more importantly I hope it was helpful for you uh, and thank you for watching.